Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And what you're looking at is my office. So today's video is gonna be a chair for the new setup I got here because my old chair here is being occupied by the gaming system and it fits here perfectly. So we're just gonna use it here for now. And plus it doesn't match my new setup, which is a wood table with black legs. So I got something that should match a lot better. That's in that box right there. But before we do the unboxing, let me do a quick update on this table. It's been great. The finish has been holding up amazing. It has not been scratching or peeling and this electronic motorized legs have been working great every time so that's been very nice for sure so I've had no issues with it and I'm enjoying it so much so it was worth it the build so if you haven't checked out the video where I built this thing check that video out if you're interested in that all right guys so let's see what we got in this package here so the company is called Porthos looks like so and as you can see this is a black chair not a white one anymore but let's open it up and see what I got so unfortunately the package came with some damage it has a pretty large hole right here and it has some more damage here and on the bottom side it's completely like coming apart so I wasn't home when this package got delivered, so I couldn't open it to inspect it in front of the carrier. But when you buy things from Amazon, you know, you got a peace of mind. If something's wrong with it, just return it. So, And this is where I got that, by the way. And it was a pretty good deal at about 120 bucks. So they had it on sale. But it looks like the price stayed the same as I bought it or even went down lower. So it might be a good time to pick up this chair while it's available for a decent price. All right, so let's see. So it looks like we just have a box here. Looks like hardware. All right, so I can see the metal part. So this appears to be chrome. Maybe it's, a, actually, I think it's aluminum, guys, because it's very light. So that's nice if that's aluminum. I like how thin these legs are. This older chair here has thicker legs. That actually looks nicer. And then it looks like we have the chair itself. Now what I can see is the, the actual wood is exposed to the board there. I wish they would have packed these things a little better. So here's this mechanism for the seat part. All right, so let's pull out this piece. So overall, it appears to be packed pretty well in this little foam here. Okay, and it's bubble wrapped. All right, well, I kind of take that back. It seems like they definitely tried to pack it good. All right, so it just slides right out. And here is the backrest. And look how nice that is, guys. So what makes this thing special for me is the wood in the back. Look at that. So that's, you know, kind of supposed to match my theme a little. Obviously this is like a darker driftwood look, but so I'm not sure if this is actual wood or anything. I think it's just a finish. Either way, it looks really good. I think for this kind of prices, you know, you can't expect real everything. So, but it's nicely executed for sure. So it looks like this is where the bolts go on to hold this uh, backrest here. So. All right, so let's take out the main piece. So this piece here kind of makes me nervous because I can see it poking out. So however they put it in this foam pad doesn't look like it's good. And there appears to be maybe no bubble wrap on it. All right, so that's what that looks like. So it's a pretty large piece here. So that almost looks like a blemish, but I think that's just the finish on it. Very interesting. So it seemed like it was bubble wrapped, it just was not put around it better. So this is what it looks like. Not too bad, not too bad. I'm a little disappointed about this, but I think I could live with that a little flaw there. And it might not be a flaw, just, well, I guess it is. It looks like it over sanded it there or something, but it's okay. I think, you know, your hands would probably wear that piece out eventually anyway. But yeah, check out how nice this looks, guys. So this is the underside. So we do have a little flaw continuing over here. So it looks like it's like this pattern on there is like printed on there or something weird like that. That's how it gets it looks. Just the quality control wasn't good enough. So then maybe this is why they put these chairs on sale is because a lot of them maybe have a little defect here and there. And so it doesn't make you feel so bad. Because originally these things were going for like 150 or something. It's not a bad deal for 120 to get this kind of chair seems like. So and this looks pretty nice here. Like, there's no weirdness here. Like, it looks very tidy. Like, look how clean those lines are, guys. That's pretty impressive. So, it does not feel cheap. Feels, you know, more high end here on this details here. So, pretty good execution overall. I love the way it looks. 
So let's put it together. All right, so I got all the pieces out together here, and here is a little quick guide to assemble it. Let's see what we have in this box here. All right, so here we have the wheels and some hardware here, and the actual cylinder here that goes on the frame where it picks you up and stuff like that. So it's pretty good, so it's like chrome finish. So as I was taking off this, I realized that these are actually aluminum, guys. So it is a true aluminum finish. You can see the weld there. So there is a little cap here that just pops right off. And you know, you can really tell the aluminum welding there, so. So yeah, these are not gonna be turning funny on you over time. So these just pop right in. There's nothing special. All right, so the wheels are on. And now we just put this in like that. Oh, it does say on the instructions here to screw away the cap, so I guess we do need to screw it off. Technically, it should just pop off. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, it just comes right off. So. All right, so step two is putting the backrest on the chair. All right, and this is a pretty straightforward process. You just put it in like that and then start the silver longer bolts there. The shorter ones actually go underneath. So I'm just going to grab a bolt and start it by hand. It should be able to screw in by hand. So don't force it. So yeah, so far it looks like pretty easy installation. So if you're happy with how this is sitting, because it does move around just a little bit side to side, then just tighten it. But don't over tighten it because you don't want to tighten it too hard because the wood is thin behind here still. So just give it a good snug and that should be good enough. So this is what it looks like now with the backrest. It looks very, very nice. All right, so step three is to put this mechanism on. And that's what that looks like. So this chair does have like you, where you can lean back and forth, which is really nice. So it goes up and down and also leans back and forth. On the handle here, it shows you how to use that. It's just like a normal chair, if you ever had an office chair that leans. And here we got the mounting holes, which is this goes to the front of the chair. Just like that. Start the bolts that were provided, the black ones. So then you just want to tighten it pretty good. Same way, not too tight, but in a good, very snuggy. You know, don't use your full force, just give it a good snug. And that's it, and we're pretty much done. So all we got to do for step five or four, whatever it is, the last step, is just put the chair on here. It's as simple as just setting it on top. You should slide right in, and you are done. And that's what it looks like when it's done, guys. Look how nice it looks. So let's see how much it goes up and down. So I'm going to go ahead and pull on this lever here. And yeah, it goes up a pretty good amount. Should be pretty comfortable right there. So obviously when you pull on this, it goes up. And then when you pull on it and you sit on it, it goes down with the weight. And the way the lean works is just you just pull it out like this. So if you leave it in, it won't lean. And if you pull it out, it leans or should lean here, there we go. And you can control the stiffness of the lean right here by unscrewing it and screwing it for tighter. So if you don't want it to lean as hard, so. So yeah, it's a pretty nice chair that has pretty much the standard features that you would want in an office chair. So these little arms here are a lot lower than usual, I think, which could be a good thing and a bad thing. Honestly, they're mostly for cosmetic looks like purposes than actual armrests so because sitting on it to put my arm down on it it's just way too low like there's no way in the world that that is comfortable to sit so these are definitely for aesthetics and unfortunately aesthetics got messed up a little bit I might be able to fix this a little bit with like a maybe like a stain pen or something with a darker stain pen and just kinda at least get it to where it camouflages a little better but it's okay I'm not too worried about it I'm the only one that's gonna ever see this chair most likely so and it doesn't bother me too much. So. But yeah guys, I love the way it looks though overall in my office here. So I think this was like a really good deal, at least for me. I'm really happy with it. I do like how they made the back here large. That way you can rest on it. Your whole body feels like it, it holds your whole body really good. So, And this seems to be pretty cushiony here. So I guess time will tell how good it is. And I love the idea that these are aluminum. The reason why, let me show you guys. Because this chair here is not even, or about six months old, maybe a little more, and you can see 
you can see that it's been rusting here and the reason for that is because we live in Hawaii and we don't have air conditionings here and the air is a little bit salty because of the ocean and it eats up chrome things really easily so and I love how they even though they didn't really have to but they went ahead and made the wood all the way underneath so it looks pretty nice you know from any angle so not that you would be looking at it from the bottom but you know maybe your pets will be <laughs> and here's one more look just from the back so not too crazy about how the back looks it looks decent I feel like this metal chrome thing maybe is a little bit a little too much you know for a dark chair like that I honestly would like it if all this was black that way it would match my legs and I think it will work a lot better so we might do that guys eventually we might actually paint all these chrome things black and give it that ultimate cool look so so if you want to pick up a chair like this for yourself go check out the Amazon links in the description below and if they're still on sale for and if you enjoyed this video guys hit that like button and if you want to see more videos like this and a bunch of other stuff I do and you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button and as always guys thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one peace